story might be about loom cosplay. Yes, I think it's about oh, a bear story. I think it's got to be a bear. Say hello, Kipper. Hello. Hello. All about Kipper's birthday. Okay, so sit back. I hope you enjoy it. Kipper's Birthday by Mick Inkpen. We've read a story about Kipper before, haven't we? So here we go. It was the day before Kipper's birthday. It was the day before Kipper's birthday. He was busy with his paints, making party invitations in large letters he painted. Please come to my birthday party tomorrow at 12 o'clock. Don't be late. He hung them up to dry and set about making his cake. Because what would a birthday party be without a cake? Kipper had not made a cake before. He put some currants and some eggs and currants and flour and sugar and currants into a bowl. Then he stirred the mixture until his arm ached. Next he added some cherries and stirred it once more. Then he rolled it with a rolling pin and looked at what he made. I have made a flat thing, he said. Hmm, not sure that's how we make a cake. Kipper squeezed the flat thing into a cake shape and watched it bake in the oven. To his surprise, it changed itself slowly into a sort of a heap, but it smelled good. He put the last remaining cherry on the top for decoration. By this time, the party invitations were dry. I'll deliver them tomorrow, yawned Kipper. It's too late now. Hmm, please come to my birthday party tomorrow. He's not going to deliver them until tomorrow. Could be interesting. Kipper woke bright and early on his birthday. His first thought was balloons. 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 <laughs> but... As he rushed downstairs, another thought popped into his head. <gasps> invitations! You need invitations, don't you? Otherwise you won't have any people at your party. Kipper ran all the way to his best friend's house and stuffed the invitations into Tiger's hand. That one's yours. These are for the others, he panted. <gasps> Can't stop balloons! When he'd gone, Tiger opened the invitation. Please come to my birthday party tomorrow at 12 o'clock. Don't be late. So, when are they going to go? Tomorrow. Kipper might think it's today, oh dear. He might be ready today. At 12 o'clock, Kipper carefully placed his cake on the table, sat down to wait for a knock at the door. He waited. And he waited. But nobody came. Not even Tiger. The cake smelled good. And Kipper began to feel hungry. At one o'clock, he ate the cherry from the top. Oh. Mmm, I bet it tastes good. At two o'clock, as two o'clock passed, still nobody came. Kipper pulled off a large piece of cake, broke it open to see if there was a cherry inside. There were two. He ate them both and began to feel better. By five o'clock, so two, three, four, five o'clock, there was no more cherries to be found. Kipper stretched out on the table, feeling very full and very sleepy. Kipper slept through the evening and into the night. He dreamt that he was climbing a mountain made of cake and dodging great cake boulders as they crashed towards him. Even when the sun streamed through the window the next morning, he did not wake, but snored peacefully until noon when he was woken by a knock at the door. Who do you think it might be? He's been asleep a long time. Ah, there he goes. <laughs> His friends had come. Happy birthday, Kipper, they said Jake. Happy birthday, Kipper, said Holly. And many happy returns, said Tiger. <laughs> Kipper blinked and rubbed his eyes. But my birthday was yesterday, he said sleepily. 
dear me. They looked at the invitation. Please come to my birthday party tomorrow at 12 o'clock. Don't be late. Clipper looked puzzled. So my birthday is not until tomorrow, he said. We haven't missed it at all. Oh dear. No, 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 said Tiger. Your birthday must have been tomorrow, the day before yesterday. Clipper looked puzzled again. Tiger went on. So yesterday it would have been today, but today it was yesterday. Do you see? Clipper did not see. His brain was beginning to ache, so he said, Cake, anyone? Then he remembered that he'd eaten it all up. Oh dear. Never mind, said Tiger. Why don't you open your presents? The presents seemed a bit odd. The first was a napkin from Jake. The second was some candles from Holly. Very useful, said Clipper, trying not to look disappointed. But the third was the most useful of all. What do you think it might be? Ah, oh, it was cake. Oh, that would be an excellent present after you've eaten your entire cake that you made. Yay. And there we go. And then they all had fun at the party. Yay. The end.